Hello guys, this is Paul McWhorter with TalkTechBoy.com and we're here today with episode number 55 in our incredible new tutorial series where you're teaching your Raspberry Pi who's boss. What I will need you to do is pour yourself a nice strong glass of ice cold coffee. That would be straight up black coffee poured over ice no sugar, no sweeteners, none needed. And as you're pouring your coffee, as always, I want to give a shout out to our friends over at SunFounder. SunFounder is actually sponsoring this most excellent series of video lessons. And in this class, we are using the SunFounder Raphael kit for Raspberry Pi. Now, most of you guys probably already have your gear, but if you don't, look down in the description. There is a link over to Amazon, and you can hop over there and pick your kit up. And believe me, your life and my life are going to be a whole lot easier if we are working on identical hardware. But enough of this shameless self-promotion. Let's talk about what I am going to teach you today. <clears throat> And today, it's not so much that I am teaching you is as I am getting you kind of a, 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 a giving you kind of a heads up and getting you prepped for sort of where we are going in this class. I'm going to kind of get you prepped for where we're going in this class because you've got to kind of decide what strategy you're going to take to follow along in the next few lessons. And I'm going to kind of explain to you what your options are and show you sort of where we are going. Well, what have we been doing in this class? We have trained OpenCV to track an object of interest based on color. And we've gone in and we've developed some track bars so that we can train the OpenCV to track the object that we are interested in by tuning in on its color. We've then gone in and done contours where OpenCV <clears throat> knows where the object of interest is, and we can actually box it so that it tracks it as it moves around the screen. But now we kind of want to take things to the next level where maybe we are not just tracking it, but what if as the object of interest moves around, as the object of interest moves around, the camera actually pans and tilts to track the position of the object. Now, how cool would that be? Now, in order to do that, we need some way to move the camera left and right as the object of interest moves left and right, and some way to tilt the camera up and down as the object of interest goes up and down. Now, the way that I did it, <clears throat> and the way that I am suggesting you guys do it, <clears throat> I purchased the SunFounder pan tilt hat for the Raspberry Pi camera. Now, what did I like about this uh, pan tilt setup? The first thing I like about it is it's a hat that actually mounts onto the Raspberry Pi. So as it's moving around, it's got sort of a firm base. The camera is firmly mounted to the camera is firmly mounted to the Raspberry Pi, and that gives it a firm base. And then the other thing I like is I like that back here in the back, you have all of these pinouts so that as you are operating in this pan tilt mode, most of the Raspberry Pi GPIO pins are fed out to you up here so you don't lose access to the GPIO pins just because you have the hat on. And then this will pan and it will tilt. And so it is a very nice solution. I am not exactly sure what the price is on Amazon. I think it's about 35 bucks. If you look down in the description, you can hop over to Amazon and you can buy this hat. <clears throat> Now, in next week's lesson, what I will be doing is I will be putting this together because it comes, it comes in a little, where is it? <clears throat> it comes in a little box in one million different pieces. It comes in this little box in one million different pieces. And so what I do with you is I go through and I put it together with you step by step. Now this is probably, I guess I wouldn't call it hard, but I would call it tedious 
that assembling this thing is a little bit tedious. And so what I'll do is I'll go through and I will assemble it with you step by step. And also I'll show you some of the pitfalls because when I put this thing together the first time, I had to take it apart and put it back together about five times. But now I understand how to do it. And so I can take you through it step by step. Now, I understand a lot of you guys might not have the coin available to buy the hat. So what could you do? Well, you could just get the little blue, the little blue servo out of your Raspberry Pi kit that you already have. And then you could just mount either by gluing or taping the camera to that servo. And then you could get most of what we're doing just by doing the pan. So you could track things on pan. It's just you couldn't track things on tilt. Now, if you got two servos, you might be able to glue, tape, kludge them together so that you could both pan and tilt. OK, some of you guys might want to put something together completely on your own using Fusion 360 where you built a pan tilt servo unit, a pan tilt uh, camera mount unit with something that you designed completely in Fusion 360. That would be a great option. If you guys don't have coin and you just use the servo that you already have, you're going to get 90% of the learning out of these lessons, so don't feel bad. But there is just... <clears throat> some super cool things you do if you actually get the hat. Does that make sense? Okay. Do we end it there? Or do you actually want to see where we are going in these lessons? I think you want to see where we're going. And so we are going to switch over to this view. And what you can see is you're now looking at the object of interest through the Raspberry Pi camera. I think I'll go ahead and see if I can tune that in a little better. That is tuned in pretty well. OK, and then up here in the top, you see my overall studio view. So you see the Raspberry Pi, you see the pan, you see the Raspberry Pi camera, you see the pan tilt unit and you see the object of interest here. And then down, let me get out of your way, man. This is probably the most complicated shot that I've ever created, the most complicated shot that I have ever created in uh, my Wirecast studio. <clears throat> you just see a close up on the camera itself. So now what is going to happen as I move this object of interest? Look at that. Giddy up. It is what? It is tracking it. OK, if you look in the upper right of your screen, you can see me moving the object of interest and you can see the camera tracking it. And then if you look right above me here, you can just see the little pan tilt as it is tracking. How cool is that? Let's put it back down and it finds it. <clears throat> now, what if I come in with a different object of interest? Can I go over there and can I tune on that one? Let's see. I'm going to come down in hue, bring it on down, and then I'm going to bring this over and then boom, I think I've got it. I think I've got it. I think I need to adjust it a little bit more. OK, now let me get this out of the picture. And now you see I have tuned in on a different I need to tune a little better. You can see that I don't quite have it tuned well enough. I need to open it up a little bit and then maybe let in a little more red there. <clears throat> OK, so you see I am now I am now doing this and I open it up a little bit too far. You know, this orange is always you know, the orange is always a little bit tough to track on. OK. Now look at that. We are tracking on the orange and it's still trying to grab more of my hand. OK, look at that. Giddy up. All right. Now watch this. I've got this over here. But what happens if I bring this in? It steals it. Why? Because this one was bigger and I am still not happy. Do you see how I've got kind of too much of my hand showing? So I've got to tighten this thing up a little bit. Tighten this thing up a little bit there. That looks pretty good. OK, now we come in and we are tracking our object of interest with a pan tilt camera. How cool is that? I ask you, how cool is that? I think this is a pretty good shot here. 
<clears throat> I've got so much going on here. Okay, so here you can see the close up and then you can just see the water studio view of how I am tracking. All right. All right, guys. So that is kind of where we are going in this class as we move forward. So let's review what are your choices. Your choices are, first of all, to order the pan tilt, uh, the pan tilt hat. <coughs> if you can afford it, go ahead and order it because I'm going to be putting it together. And then if you can't, you can just use the single blue servo and you'll just be panning and not tilting, but you'll still learn pretty much everything that you want. Or if you want to really do the most learning, you can sort of design the whole thing from scratch in Fusion 360. So what is the game plan moving forward? The game plan is next week, I'm going to go through the assembly of this with you. So you need to go ahead and order it because next week I'm going to be going through the assembly with it and you can follow along on that video. <clears throat> and then after I get it assembled, then I'll start kind of going through the coding step by step of how to build this control system that will actually in real time live track things. How does that sound? Okay, guys, this has not again been so much of a learning lesson as a getting you ready to move forward with the next uh, series of videos in this class. And so you can decide what strategy you want. You guys leave me feedback down below. Does... <coughs> Does this sound like an interesting direction for us to be going? If it is, give me feedback. If this is kind of going off the rails, let me know that as well. And then if you like the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you also leave a comment down below, that always helps us with the YouTube juice. If you have not subscribed to the channel already, make sure you subscribe. And when you do, ring that bell. And then as always, share this video with other people because the world needs more people doing engineering and fewer people sitting around watching silly cat videos. Paul McWhorter with toptechboy.com. I will talk to you guys later.